of unknown origin is the story of one man's fight with a rat. Not a mutated rat, or a genetically modified rat, just a pesky smart rat. How much damage can a tiny rat do? Well, let's find out. First, we meet Bart and his family. Bart's a big important businessman who can't go on vacation with his wife and son because he has a big merger he has to get done. So they leave him home alone so he can get to work. That night, Bart is supposed to be home alone, but he hears something in the kitchen. When he walks in, he sees the place is flooded. A handyman tells him that a rat got in and chewed through the hose. Easy enough fix, set out some mouse traps. The next morning, he goes to hopefully find a dead rat, but instead, it chewed through a trap. The handyman tells him he's going to need something much bigger than that. This guy seems to have a lot of respect for rats, saying they're intelligent and can survive anywhere. While Bart might spend 10% of his day trying to get rid of it, that rat spends 100% of its day trying to outsmart him. It's a rat. It has nothing better to do. One important thing to note here is that Bart is a do-it-yourselfer. He remodeled his whole house without using any machines, so he's pretty confident he can handle one little rat. So he goes to the library to learn all he can. It must have left an impression because that night at a dinner party with his boss, he starts spewing out all kinds of rodent facts, giving all the others the heebie-jeebies. Now Bart is going down a rabbit hole, well, or should I say, rat hole, that he isn't prepared to go down, and it's starting to affect him personally. His co-workers are noticing, and they think he can't handle the pressure from his workload, but his boss knows it's something else, and says he needs to get his act together. While checking the traps one night, he goes down into the basement and finds some babies. Now he knows he's dealing with a female. Seeing her pups in danger, yes, I looked it up, a baby rat is a pup, or sometimes a pinky, which makes sense. Anyway, she attacks him and he drops the pups. Now Mama's mad. He tries everything in the book. Bigger traps, poison, and even a cat. But when Bart finds the cat dead the next day, he knows it's time to throw in the towel and call an exterminator. He should have called Robocop. The rat doesn't have a beef with anyone else though, and he wants to take down Bart. So it chews up the check, and the exterminator doesn't do any of the work. That's okay, this is Bart's house that he built from the ground up, and he will win this fight. He starts working out, and even makes this bat with nails and mouse traps all over it. The handyman sees this and just nopes right out of there. That night, Bart prepares for the final fight. And what a fight it is! The last 10 minutes is just one on one. Man versus beast versus house. That's the true victim of this story. In the end, Bart corners it in the basement in a model of their home and he destroys the model, but finally kills the rat. In the end, he gets an extension at work and his wife and son come home. She's obviously a little ticked off about the status of their house, but a happy ending nonetheless. Of Unknown Origin is really just the story of one man versus a rat, and Bart struggled to keep from going off the deep end. There was a point when I started questioning if the rat was real at all, or just Bart going crazy from the stress of his job. Peter Weller does a great job making Bart likable. There is a scene where he makes out with his assistant that kind of knocks him down a few pegs, but eh, it was the 80s, that was the norm. The supporting characters also do a really good job, especially the handyman. He was pretty funny. It does get boring at times. I think this would have been better as an hour-long TV show, but the padding they put in was done pretty well. Of Unknown Origin is a good time, 
but nothing too special. I give it two and a half rat pups out of four. A little Mozart in the morning, Betty? Morning, Mr. Hughes. 